so today we're going to be playing Slayer on the rig, playing against full optic gaming roster. Uh, straight stick has actually been dropped from the roster since this has been filmed, but uh, they don't have a solid fourth yet. They've just been running games, so this is their old roster we're playing against, not the new one. At the start, you'd be I rush caster alone. Um, at the start, you don't really want to send more than one person for caster. Uh, you can send one white hall to look at camo, but you usually have a person basement window and then another person up top going through long haul or yellow corner. Uh, the caster is super important to troll on this map, especially if you morph so, so you can just deny the other team from pushing in with it. Even if you don't have use for it, which is very unlikely, but I always try to hold on to it. Uh, you can actually use the burst to nade over weapons, if even the caster, so they don't get the next one. If you actually still have ammo from the caster, when the next one's coming up, just shoot a charge caster at the caster, just so they can't get it if you're still inside. Uh, so we're going to push down low here, which we shouldn't have. We should have went up top. We would have been able to get in White Hall. We collapsed on from outside, and they still have bunker control here. They have two people collapsing, you can see on the outlines. So he's going to go down. We're still going to have outside spawn. And that's pretty much all happened from my caster death, basically. Uh, you don't, like like I said, if you're going to die with a caster, you just get rid of it, throw it off the map. Pretty much any power weapon. Because they just block off. The caster is just so useful to this map because it's all corners, halls. They have to push into you with it. Uh, they have control of that. They're going to actually overextend here, I believe. They're pushing outside very hard. And they pushed out, spawned us bunker, gave us complete control just because of that one overextension. And it's only a tie game. It's not like they took a huge lead from that uh, collapse out there. But you'll see that one player goes down long haul after they have outside control. And this is going to allow them to push us back out with basically just them having numbers. We have a guy go long haul because we lost control. We got naded out both ways. I die in tower, we only have one person left back, and it's going to force us to spawn outside on Carbine. They have inside control just like that. So that outside collapse that they did was just them having more numbers and being confident that they can uh, push us out and then get back control, which they did. You see the caster's coming up, there's three people, four people looking at caster, because they just don't want us to have it to be able to push back in. Uh, they actually get it. We're, we had an inside spawn, luckily, because um, our teammate takes out the guy in tower too. He's going to have tower control, I'm going to sit bunker, wait for the spawners, this guy's on snipe, camo, uh, luckily pushes me while he's one shot, he didn't know I was there, so he goes down, camo's gone, their whole setup where they got caster and camo was basically just uh, completely just useless because he just walked right into us with his camo. Uh, he pushed alone, never push alone if you have camo or overshield for that matter. If you have overshield, always work with your team because you're basically just a third player at that point. Uh, you're going to see him push for snipe here because tank is down bottom. He missed his jump. He jumps up too high in the air, puts himself in a vulnerable position. He gets taken down. You see two people on my radar, so you go and help your teammate, especially because he has caster. It's a huge kill if you can kill a caster. You see a kill caster, but I get taken down, but my teammate's right there to recover it. Uh... That push from engine was iffy because I pushed out. We luckily got the back spawn, but I pretty much was the spawn, the uh, anchor holding the spawns, and I pushed out to help my teammate. Uh, it's not always bad to push and help your teammate like that, but you usually want to have someone in rotation to hold your spot. Uh, this again, you just want to hold these halls. If you can hold, control white hall, you're basically controlling three entrances to try and get in. You always have that one person tower, which Will is doing right now. Uh, Maniac gets pushed with a scatter by me because he has sniper out while walking around. He just pushes through long haul with no help, didn't check his corners, gets taken down, loses sniper control. Um, luckily I have my sniper here and I'm loading it. It's very greedy of me to try and do that reload there. Instead of just switching to my scatter, I probably could have lived. Uh, when tower one maybe even got bunker spawn but i do get bunker spawn again because they're already pushed out on the side outside waiting for caster and he walks snipe right back into me basically uh he actually has a scatter as well so lucky i was able to see that i should drop one of these for my teammates right now i end up not doing it but this is a solo queue game so sometimes when you're searching solo you just don't have any communication so you're not able to communicate with your teammate that, you know, take this weapon. But you generally don't want to have scatter and snipe, because scatter is 
if I can have scatter snipe in um, bunker or just snipe in bunker and have someone engine two with scatter, he's just so much better in that position. Luckily, I have three people here. Luckily, I get a kill out of it. Make it a trade. I should have been able to get two. Playing on a lower sensitivity when someone pushes like that is just unfortunate. Uh, it's no excuse. I should have hit that shot. However, he's the slide and just puts off the angle just a tiny bit, and that's enough to kill me and get scatter control. He actually gets taken out by the E2 guy, so... Uh, fortunately, we don't lose the scatter there, but uh, I should have basically lost complete control for my team there by having both weapons and then missing the sc uh, scatter shot. He pushed too far, basically had three people collapse on me, and then our teammate was actually who spawned out was actually able to come back and help me there. So that was very fortunate that our teammate actually sprinted back to me. Yeah, we're gonna just control inside. We have no people dead. We don't have to bunk bunker. There's no way they're spawning there until we kill somebody. So we don't have to worry about that. We go one down because we're pushing out too far. We see pushing basement. And we have a guy on long haul and white hall corner. White hall corner goes down. We're just getting out of position. You're gonna see them fly out. He is really makes a really nice scatter play. And he's able to take down one of the guys who was pushing me. I can take down tower two because the SMG is better than they are. Uh, unfortunately, there's another guy overpass who's taking me out, but they're already two down right now. They have no option to push. They're not going to have control. We're going to be able to keep this. And snipes coming up, so this is super important that we were able to look at snipe and get this kill. Luckily, he goes to drop down there and ends up dying instead of just walking long haul because he could have kept sniper, had control in a close game, and been able to actually possibly push in after getting one kill. So he missed the ground pound on me, and they're stuck in outside control while it's 47-42. So all we have to do is make one push. They're one dead. We have four on three outside. Another one goes down. Uh, they're, like I said, we're just collapsing on them right now, taking them out one by one. And this is the last guy who's stuck outside. We're going to pick him up with a caster kill. End up dying. That sniper had no use at all. And that's the game.